Hey amazing people, hope you're doing great. So I recently passed my AZ-104 exam and to be honest, um, I want to say it was a bit hard as compared to the kind of AWS alternatives. Um, so yeah, uh, in today's video, we are going to talk about my AZ-104 Azure Administrator exam guide. So let's dive right into the video. So yeah, uh, with the Azure Administrator Associate exam, which is the AZ-104, um, in Microsoft's terms, it says candidates for the Azure Administrator Associate certification should have subject matter expertise implementing, managing, and monitoring an organization's Microsoft Azure environment. It's pretty accurate. Uh, if, like with the Azure Administrator, that's these things do come in mind. Uh, so yeah, um, if you go ahead and I won't read the rest of it, but I think this is important. So a candidate for this certification should have at least six months of hands-on experience administrating Azure, along with a strong understanding of core Azure services, Azure workloads, security, and governance. And yeah, just to point out, I think govern governance and identity is like really important. Um, the two topics that I would that I found uh, included a lot of questions were virtual networks and identity and governance, at least for my case or in my exam. Um, but yeah, and in addition, this role should have experience using PowerShell, for sure, Azure CLI. Make sure you practice uh, in the portal using the CLI or if you have installed it on your uh, local machine, um, make sure to use CLI and you should know your way around Azure portal and also the Azure resource manager templates. So yeah, um, for the skills measured, um, see that it says manage Azure identities and governance is one. Then the second one is implement and manage storage. Third being deploy and manage Azure compute resources, configure and manage virtual networks, as I said, um, monitor and backup Azure resources. And you can also go and go through the outline that Microsoft provides. This is basically diving into all these um, outlines in more depth. I won't go over this, but because it's, you, you guys can go ahead and read um, since I'll be just reading through it. Um, but yeah, it also gives you the weightage that it has. Uh, I think this recently changed. I am not sure when, but it by recently, I mean in the last month or two months. So uh, the Azure identities and governance has 15 to 20% weightage. Uh, implement and manage stories, 15 to 20%. Then the Azure compute resources is 20 to 25%. And we go over to configure and manage virtual networking, which is 25 to 30%. So as I said, like virtual network and subnets, um, IP addresses, and then Azure DNS, um, private endpoints, um, and other uh, like important security features like security rules and NSGs, which stand for Network Security Group, Azure Firewall, Azure Bastion. Uh, make sure like you cover all of them, especially the networking part, um, because as you can see, it covers like 25 to 30% of the exam. And the last being monitor and backup Azure resources, which is 10 to 15%. So yeah, that's the basic outline of the exam. Um, the questions are, I want to say around 55 to 65, I think that's what Microsoft says. Um, I think I got 61 questions on my exam. 
and yeah i think it, it went pretty good and for, for, for my experience we'll, we'll dive into it later um so yeah i recently published a blog post too about my study guide or how to prep for AZ 104 and yeah in today's video we're basically going through that or it's a video format of that blog um and yeah, for my preparation material, I used um, a Cloud Guru, and I think they did a pretty good job. Uh, it's not really thorough, I like to say, like it doesn't go into deep in the concepts. So, yeah, um, but yeah, I found it to the point, and it helped me pass. So guess they did a good job um but yeah um, for the practice exams i went through the vizlab practice tests um i think they go for yeah they go for around 20 dollars um it's a great deal they have like four practice tests the only thing i would love to see down the road is um like exact simulation of the exam itself um uh, right now they only have it's always multiple choice. They try to blend it to look like like it's matched the following or you have to pick any options or any fill in the blanks kind of stuff. Um, but again, they would put something like slot one, slot two in the question and then you would have options A, B, C, D as being slot one is this and slot two is this. Um, so yeah, I would love to see them being closer to the actual exams with the practice exams um but yeah other than that i think they they're good they're good practice tests um but yeah those are the two resources that i used along with uh i do want to mention microsoft learn so i did um as you can see this is a private window but i did go through all of the learning paths for az 104 i think there are six or seven and the good thing about these are they, they keep updating these so um yeah it's it's a really good way and they also give you a sandbox environment wherever applicable uh, which is really great right um because you need to get that hands-on uh, experience and practice and yeah for the free resources and that was just I don't know, I was waiting for Andrew's course, but I had my exam and I think he came out with this course like three or four days before my exam. So I didn't have the time to go through his course. So Andrew Brown, as we all know, has amazing AWS courses um, for free on YouTube through Free Code Camp. And he did came out with AZ 104. Um, yeah so go check it out it's for free it's 11 hours and by given on the past courses that i've done for his he, he he does a pretty good job and yeah go check his video out if you're preparing for easy 104 and yeah for the other free resource it's the same that i used as microsoft learn so it's free, you get sandbox environments, and you get hands-on experience uh, with those labs. So I think, I think it's, it's a great resource to utilize. Um, but yeah, I think those are the kind of uh, resources that I used and would recommend. Oh, also, I think, yeah, labs. So. Um, Microsoft has this AZ-104 Microsoft Azure Administrator repo and if we go to link to the labs so here you can go and practice all of these labs I think they are part of your Microsoft Learn modules but if, if you for some reason in the end want to go and practice labs and you don't want to go through Microsoft Learn again uh, feel free to go through the labs again just to make sure you feel prepared and yeah now getting into about 
my experience with the exam. As I said in the beginning of the video that I kind of found, like I kind of find it difficult as compared to associate level AWS exams. But that being said, I did had two years, now three, but two years of experience in AWS before sitting all three associates in AWS. So that counts towards a lot of hands-on uh, experience and dealing with like, production environments. And yeah, I think it's, it changes um, the entire like, preparation um, time frame and how much practice do I need to prepare for an associate exam. And that being said, for Azure, I have recently started using Azure. By recent, I mean around four to five months. Um, especially for AZ-104, I think I was not well prepared uh, in regards to the practice and hands-on labs and experience. Um, for theoretical, I think I've, I felt pretty confident, but I, I would, I would, ha like I would really recommend getting some good hands-on practice, uh, especially with the labs and Microsoft Learn. And yeah, that's kind of my experience about it. And going forward, I'm preparing for AZ-400, which is the DevOps engineer exam for Azure. Um, which is an expert level. So I've been kind of playing around with Azure pipelines, Azure DevOps, and so far it's going pretty good, but yeah, I'll keep you guys posted and yeah, make sure you follow me on Twitter because I keep posting uh, amazing cloud uh, tweets and my progress in the cloud world. But yeah, that is pretty much it. And I wish you guys luck if you're going to sit your AZ-104 and yeah, make sure to hit that subscribe button.